Hey everybody, it's Jim and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. Today I wanted to go over one last way that you can save results from a function. So let's look over our program. We have our standard pound exclamation point slash bin slash ksh. Our program name, a little bit about what the program does, who created it, And right here we have our definition of our function. Same thing as always. We start with the word function, the name of the function, and then the function is now equivalent to anything between these two curly braces. So every time the word cube gets called, all these commands in here get executed. And after the definition, we just do a simple print statement for extra white space at the output. And here's where we call our program. Excuse me. Here is where we call our function. We say cube space four. So let's look at the code. And here's cube. Here's the definition. Now what we do is we take the dollar sign one, which in this case is four, and we assign it to n, and then we cube n and store it in a variable called result. Now, a couple things I want you to notice. This variable n was created inside of this function right here, this cube function. And this variable result was also created inside of the function cube. Now, what happens to the variable n and the variable result once you are done executing this statement that says cube space 4? Well, just to backtrack, when we do cube space 4, we start here. We see two comment lines. Okay, no big deal. We create our variable n, assign it a value of 4, and we create our variable result and we assign it a value of 64. Now what happens to the variable n and the variable result when we get to this point? Now in some computer languages, like for example C, a variable is known if it's defined inside of a function. It's only known inside of a function. So once you get to this closed curly brace, this variable n disappears and this variable result disappears. But in corn shell, when you create a variable, it's around until you end your program, generally speaking. There's a few exceptions. You can define a variable such that it disappears, but we're not doing that here. So this variable n, once it's created, it's known until your program ends. Remember, it's not your function, it's your program. And this variable result is known until your program ends. So even after the function cube ends, both these variables will be around for us to access in our program. So when we do cube space 4, we assign 4 to n, and we assign 64 to result. And the result variable is around forever. So Let's look at the code one more time. We have a print statement. We call our function. So after this statement right here, the variable n is set to 4. It's still known even after we execute cube and get out of cube. And the variable result is set to 64, and it's also known. So we can access those variables outside of the function. And in this case, we can say result is in this case, it will be 64. And one last thing, you can define as many variables as you want inside of this, and they will be known outside of the function. So let's actually run this and see what happens. There's our function, and it does come back with dollar result is 64. So the result variable does exist after the function ends 